All right, check out this Ford F-150 with the six inch lift and it's got a broken cross member on the two piece axle suspension drop down bracket cross member here. You can see it's broken there. Now that's the problem with lifting these old Ford trucks is they got the two piece axle. So there's not really a good way to do a good suspension lift on it. You gotta put this big drop down bracket and it uh, increases the leverage on this cross member here. So it puts all the leverage on this little lip here and uh, well I ended up ended up cracking it. It took some abuse but I managed to do it so a uh, solid axle with uh, leaf springs would be much better than this setup but you know you, you, you got what you got and you make it work and I made this work for a while but I broke it so it's the middle of hunting season right now so I don't have time to uh, replace this cross member as I should but I'm going to put a temporary fix on it to get me through hunting season it's never a great idea to uh, repair a damaged cross member such as this, especially when it uh, su supports your axle like this one does, but this is going to be an off-road vehicle until the proper repair can be completed. I started off by cleaning off the rust and grinding out in the middle of the crack so the weld would have some place to go, and then I jacked up on the bottom of the little bracket there and uh, tack welded it in place so this way it'll hold it in place and it won't warp when I start laying a hot bead on it. The plan here is to weld up the crack and then I'm going to grind down the welds flat and weld on some stiffener plate on each side of this cross member over the cracks and I want it to cover the cracks and go at least a couple inches on each side. That way the crack hopefully won't come back and spread. That's what the cross member looks like from the side after being welded and grinded. You can barely tell that it's been cracked before. Now I can install some stiffener plate and weld that around and it should reinforce at least that part of the crack. It's a good start. I'm definitely not a certified welder, so my welds are definitely ugly, but they're definitely strong too. They don't fall apart. And that's what it looks like with the first piece of stiffener plate over the one side crack, and that should make a big difference there. And once I put one over the back side, it'll make a big difference, and then it should be real strong again. At least enough to make it through hunting season, and then after hunting season, I'll be replacing the cross member altogether, and then it'll be ready for the highway. If you want to see me take this old Ford out and beat the hell out of it, let me know. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and throw me a like if you enjoyed this video. See you later.